Hello, everyone. My name is Gabby Jones. I am a consultant with Encryption Consulting. Encryption Consulting covers all of the aspects of security concerns, such as data security, key management, and privacy. Today, we're going to be discussing an interesting concept in encryption, especially in certificate lifecycle management. Certificate revocation list, also known as CRL, versus online certificate status protocol, also called OCSP. First, we're going to go into understanding the basic concepts of both CRL and OCSP, and then we're going to go into the differences between the two. Digital certificates issued by CA, Certificate Authority, plays an important role in the encryption world. These certificates create trust between service providers and end users, which in turn helps in safe business transactions. Certificate Revocation List, also known as CRL, and Online Certificate Status Protocol, or OCSP, play crucial roles in Certificate Lifecycle Management, CLM. Digital certificates provide and ensure trust by creating secure communications in the encryption process. Also, these certificates are signed by the issuing CAs, which validate the certificate owner's identity. Web browsers, when connected to any site using SSL slash TLS protocol, checks for any anomalies or issues in the certificate. These anomalies are validated by cross-checking through CRL and OCSP. OCSP and CRL, uh, they are two methods of maintaining certificate lifecycle management, CLM for your organization. So now we're gonna go into the description of CRL. And you may be familiar with this as it was mentioned in our last video, but I'm gonna go over it again anyway. According to the National Institute of Standards and Technology, a CRL is a list maintained by a certificate authority of the certificates it has been issued and revoked prior to the stated expiration date. CRLs contain certificates that are revoked before the actual expiration. Certificate authority can move the certificates to CRL either irreversibly or temporarily based on the scenario. One important point to note is CRL by definition contains revoked certificates by the CA or the owner and have not yet been expired. This means certificates which are not organically expired as per the predefined timeline. X.509 standard defines the format of a CRL for a PKI. Each entry will contain the revoked certificate serial number, dates of revocation, and also time limit in case of temporary hold on certificates. So what are some of the most common reasons a certificate can be revoked before its expiration date? They can be revoked before the defined expiration for several reasons. Below um, in the slide are some of the most commonly identified reasons. The most common and also most important reason can be when a certificate's private key has been compromised. Another reason include the CA itself is compromised, um, a change in the certificate issuing owner, or errors or bugs defined in the issued certificate are, are found. Best example of this, um, when multiple CAs in 2019 were um, revoking millions of certificates issued by mistake with a 63-bit serial number for each instead of a 64-bit. What is Online Certificate Status Protocol, OCSP? OCSP is an internet protocol which enables applications to determine the revocation state of identified certificates without the use of certificate revocation lists, or CRLs. With OCSP, it is possible to gain more accurate and real-time information of the revocation status when compared with CRLs. OCSP stapling. OCSP stapling improves performance by setting up a digitally signed and time-stamped OCSP response on the web server. This avoids the additional step of client contacting a third-party entity to know the status of the SSL certificate as the web server does that job. The stapled OCSP response lets the web server include the OCSP response with the initial SSL handshake. 
OCSP response contains status, which indicates the current state of the SSL certificate. Three different status messages sent by OCSP are good. A certificate status of good shows that the certificate is valid for use. You have revoked. The revoked state uh, indicates that the certificate has been revoked either temporarily or permanently. And then you have unknown. The unknown status indicates that the responder doesn't know about the certificate being requested, usually because the request indicates an unrecognized issuer that is not served by this responder. Now it's time to go into the differences between CRL and OCSP. Both certificate revocation lists and online certificate status protocol are used in understanding the current status of the SSL certificate shared by the server to the client browser. However, each type has its own advantages and drawbacks. CRL can be beneficial in one scenario and OCSP in another. OCSP is a protocol for checking revocation of a single certificate interactively using an online service called an OCSP responder, whereas a CRL is a list of revoked certificates that is downloaded from the CA. OCSP can be used to get the status of a single certificate. A CRL is a list with multiple lines that has to be downloaded by the browser. OCSP, as it works on request basis, bandwidth, and resource ut utilization of network is comparatively low when compared to CRL, where a total list of revoked certificates has to be downloaded. Status of a certificate is fetched by making a request to an OCSP responder. A CRL is distributed using a CDP point, which can be uh, an HTTP link or an LDAP server. OCSP can be checked for OV or organization validation or DV, domain validation, whereas it is not possible for CRL to do this. All right, thank you so much for listening to our discussion about certificate revocation versus online certificate status protocol. If you're interested in learning more about encryption or data protection in detail, please subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, give this video a like so that your algorithm is more tuned in to our content. Please feel free to contact us at encryptionconsulting.com if you have any confusion or if you simply want more details about the company or encryption in general. Thank you.